friends we've got another kit review today it's Academy's 135 scale attack chopper by the United States Marine Corps AA1Z shark mouth it's their um, support chopper um, this is a nice box art I believe it's in the desert somewhere Afghanistan wherever um, there's some of the free marking options you can do these three aircraft are flying today and they're support choppers like I said the fellow edge canopy mask laser cut there's this side Card cartographer cartograph probably, uh, pronounce it uh, decals kit number 12127 uh, what else we've got some serial Listings of paints, humble, guns, um, model, master, Ravel, Vallejo, AK Interactive paints, which is the new range of aircraft colours. I have the United States Marine Corps um, colour, so, which is the grey. There's this side of the kit. Let's check what we get inside. Action manual, warning label, no good, don't need that. Your glass, your mask, paint guide, we'll check that out in a minute. Another warning label, don't need that. Your tools are needed and how to use them, we don't need that because we know how to do this. There's your photo etch. Not coloured, it's uh, just copper style, so you have to, we'll have to, some part will be painted. There's your laser cut masks, there's your decals, oh, sugar up there upside down. 2019, so the kit is this year's as well, by the way. It's, it's a new release, brand new tooling. There's your shark mouth, it's like German symbols, but it's not. Something to do with Marine Corps, I'm not quite sure. Anyone knows about it, comment down in, in the comments would help. Number 47, I like these uh, symbols, these, these are pretty cool. I like these. These stripes, these go with the tips of propellers, but I would paint them on. Um, not sure what this is for, I think this is mimicking some areas. Carbon fiber, maybe, I'm not quite sure. Um, Marine Corps logos, serial numbers of the aircraft. So there's your decal sheet. We have one bag screws, two bags, three bag of screws. We'll come to that in a minute. There's a product page. Not a fan of this crap. It's hard to do it on camera as well. There's your stencil data. We have another stencil data for your weapons, which is missiles. And propellers, stencil data for propellers and missiles, front of the aircraft, top of the aircraft, um, rocket pods. Hellfire missiles, ARAM a, a nines. You have this Marine Corps paint scheme with shark mouth, and we have this one. Well, and we have this one as well. Scan camera. Here's this one. And we have this one, there's four marking options. There's this marking option. It's fucking, these put out pages, I hate them, seriously. Right, there's this marking option, which is all grey, no black on it, it's just boring in my opinion. 
Uh, I'll be doing the one of the shark mounts for sure. Take a look at the structure manual. Same print is on the front box. Again, there's all your paints. But if you've got other manufacturers, then you have to uh, try and con convert them somehow or get a listing. This is a pull-out page. All right, I'm going to have to move the camera slightly, guys. All right, we're back. All right, we uh, start with the cockpit, cockpit tub. Uh, you have to go through the numbers and follow. I think the interior is like grey and, and matte black. Um, you have, like I say, uh, some decals for your instrument panels. Uh, your seats are flat black, I believe. Side walls are going in. It'd be, you might have to paint them before sticking them because you might not be able to get them in. I know uh, for sure you're going to have to paint these seats and then put the, and then put the seats in because... If you notice down here, you this bit behind the seat, the seat sits in front of it, so you might not be able to get to it. Um, and sticking the fuselage into one side of the uh, cockpit, going in one side of the fuselage. Um, getting the radar nose put, put together. Um, that's step 10. You have another step, uh, the other side of the fuselage, engine covers going on, you land in skid, which is a H shape landing frame, uh, making sure everything's lined up, yeah that's to do with your H frame still, we have uh, step 4, 5 and 6, right we're going to this one, more engine covers. Um, these ones are slide molded, which we'll check this out in a minute. Uh, the rear propeller going on, the stabilised propeller. Um, slide molded tail. There's a hell of a lot of slide molding. It's all all new um, new stuff. Uh, your canopy comes in several parts and you have to be careful when gluing this together. You can have the option of it having the windows open, which is this one here, having the uh, side doors open. So I might do that as well actually. Uh, machine gun going on, I believe it's like a 50 calibre um, three barrel um, like Gatling gun type thing. Certainly, throw some lead down range for sure. I wouldn't want to be on the, uh, the other end of that. Your weapons, like I said, was it ARAMs, Hellfire missiles, and your rocket pods, your little wings that house the weaponry. Uh, Yeah, putting the weapons on and your little wings. Your main rotors now is four bladed propeller rotors. Getting it all lined up. You can't have they're not in the folded position, so you can't have it stored away, unfortunately. So you're gonna have the propeller sticking out, so you need a little bit of space for this. And your tail rotors as well. And that's the instructions guys. Here's your clear parts, nice and clear. Lovely, what's the clarity like? Yes, let's have a look. Yeah, you can see straight through this perfectly. Okay, there's no issues with this. 
even cut even as I come out it doesn't really distort at all you can still see through this little bit of modification on the bend but that's good stuff that's good This bag, this has a slide molded towel and the wheat and the uh, upper wing. Yep, so this is your slide molded towel. Um, there's another part, a couple of ejection pins maybe inside. But the kit's got so much detail, it's pretty good, even down to these five of it's on here. Slide molded uh, little wings that house your weapons. Again, the detail on this. Superb. Uh, unfortunately, your engine is not slide molded. Comes in two halves. There's one there and one there. Again, the detail on it, rivets. There's your rivets. There's your fan blades, engine blades. Uh, two piece main tail. The riveting on it is superb. There's part of your, uh, I'm not sure actually. Engine covers. Don't, there's no little engine, so you can't display an engine, which is a bit of a shame. I don't know if there's any aftermarket out there. This, this one is two identical screws, which houses the weapons. And your rotors. So we have two of these sprues. We're only going to take a look at one of them. Here's your rocket pods again, slide molded rocket pods. Slide molded. Uh, uh, I think they're the, the rear propellers actually. Slide molded. Strange enough. There's your caps for your rocket pods. So paint them up. You got ones that uh, there's the back. These ones that look like they've been fired, and the ones that got fully loaded. So put a wash in there to darken them up. Some small fine detail parts. Yeah, one piece propellers. Let's turn this round. One focus. Some uh, fine detail on your propellers. As well. Down to the bolts. Slide molded again. I'm not sure what this piece is for. Sure, uh, these are rails for your weapons. I'm not sure what these small detail parts are. There's one of your main missiles. There's your hellfires. Slide molded hellfires. One piece. So no nasty seam lines. These kits go together. It's going to go together really clean. Some more rockets inserts. There's the other part of your propellers. One of your seats as well. So there's that through. All your parts on it. I say there's two of those. Two sprues in this bag. One contains fuselage halves. More rails. Um, your nose cone, you've got option of having a clear one or a grey one. I'll probably use the clear one. I 
Right, there's one of your fuselage halves. The detail on this rivets, panel lines, recess panel lines, it's a mixture of both. So, lovely. We have some more supports, I believe, somewhere. Fine detail pots. Interior part, I believe, again. There's your other half. Pretty much identical. And this one contains fine tubing. Some more engine covers, I believe that is. Uh, there's your radar nose, but the plastic one. I don't don't know that. I'd use a clear one, to be honest. I'm not sure what that is. There's your part of your rotor. Part of your rotors, the uh, clips and stuff put together. There's your cockpit tub. It's uh, pretty cool. Slide moulded again, some more fins. Uh, engine covers, I believe again. There's some of your skids. Tube ones, these are awesome. mm, I don't know, they're slide moulded, but they're one piece for sure. And there's that screw. Right, there you go guys, there's your chopper from the Academy 135th Guard, United States Marine Corps, Tac Chopper, H1, or H100. Thank you for watching, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you later.